Hi, my friends call me Lime, and this is what you had to say about... What was this video about? The sweet spot of acting. It's just George says, great video Lime, I laughed so hard at the end. Twilight Prince says, that moment on 44 seconds is just perfect, love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for those comments. Uh, I was really hoping that you would appreciate the imitations, I did work hard on them. And I was afraid that the overacting part would just be very loud and very annoying to you. I was hoping it would be funny and you seem to appreciate it, so that's great. Heal Please Heal says, Wait now, were you mocking Anthony and George? Lol, just kidding. <laughs> I get it, you're just kidding. Uh, in case someone actually does believe that though, I wanted to take the opportunity to say that no, I'm not mocking Anthony and George. I just wanted to show that many YouTubers don't act like they do on camera in real life. Is it just me or am I the only one who wants to see more of overacting lime, lol? My throat runs away from that comment. Sure, if you want to see more of overacting lime, then tell me that in the comments. Smartfrags UK says... The bird... Burger? <laughs> Bur what? Burter fair. Burter fair? Burter fair. Burter fair. What is it? What, what's it in Swedish? Bat to care. Bat to care. Bat to care. Bat bat to care. Bat took her. Bird took her. A bird took her. So, Bertiger, Bertiger, but Bertiger where? Jordan Luna Vlog says, Lassing my, lassing, laughing my ass off. Do I need to reattach your ass? Dr. Dunk asks, Why I turn into Russian when I overacted? Did I turn Russian? I wasn't actually aiming for any accent, it just became something. Need to improve my acting a bit more to have more emotion in my voice, make it less boring. Any good tips on this? I've tried a lot and nothing really helped. So you and I discussed this a bit uh, in the YouTube comments and uh, I would like to share some of the tips that I gave. Um, that something that you could do is to as an exercise to overact. If you feel that is your problem, then that is a challenge that you want to give yourself. Uh, you want to really overact. And when you feel that you're overacting too much, overact just a little bit more. Everything to train yourself to really express yourself very strongly. And once you know how to express yourself strongly, then you should be able to bring that into your videos. Now, in the video, I gave a tip about finding a YouTuber who you look up to and who does kind of the same thing that you do and uh, then try to match that. And there is a version of that um, where you can try to get to know yourself. Um, how do you act when you are genuinely excited? How do you speak? What do you do? And once you know that, then you can try to bring that into your own videos and if you even have a recording with the, of that then you can do a side-to-side -side comparison uh, with how you act when you are excited and then how you act in your videos and then you can do a retake and then do another retake and then do another retake until you match what you do when you are really excited and one of the hardest things that I think that you can do here is to read from a script and try to sound genuine at the same time. Uh, so that is why it's so important to memorize your lines and really drop the script. Even if you need to write a script, script for yourself, then you need to rehearse that script a lot so you, you remember the lines and then you can deliver them in a much more genuine way. Reading from a script as you deliver it really distracts you from your delivery. 
And so that is important to think about. And some people might actually need someone who helps them to realize what they need to do to express emotion more strongly. Uh, maybe they need a director or a friend who helps them along the way. So, thank you so... Uh, I, I still don't really know where they put uh, all the thingies, so I'll be right here. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching. I hope you that you found the episode useful. Um, bye.